then that at the time of the prophet muta was permitted yes in the earlier part of his prophethood at the time of the prophet in the early prophethood even alcohol was not prohibited in the early days of the prophet prophet didn't prohibit alcohol you should tell me that there was some sahaba who had alcohol in front of the prophet prophet didn't say i said this that's fine that was in the earlier part later on the verse of the quran were revealed prohibiting it after that there was never occasion with the person had alcohol from the prophet and prophet didn't prohibit it because if any wrong act is done from the prophet he will surely prohibit it if it's haram so based on this even muta was very much prevalent in arab history in arab culture it was very common so and adultery fornication was common so it came in stages all the prohibition and in 7 hijri during the battle of tabuk at that time muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam a couple of years before he died he prohibited this now when he prohibited it those sahabas were present they knew it very well among them was hazrat umar radhiyallahu anhu that the reason later on when they came back and even after the demise of the prophet some of the people did not know and when the sahabas who knew about it including hazrat umar radhiyallahu anhu when they came to know they were very strict it's wrong so some people think that it was hazrat umar radhiyallahu anhu who is the person who formulated this new law no it was prohibited by the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but when he prohibited it was expedition to tabuk in which all the sahaba were present there there were very few amongst them was hazrat umar radhiyallahu anhu so after the demise of the prophet because he knew it was prohibited he was very strict in it but during the lifetime of the prophet muta means temporary marriage that means you marry a woman for a particular term period whether one night whether one week whether one month it's haram in islam in islam it's clearly mentioned nikah is a sacred covenant you marry and you think you're going to stay with her for good if something goes wrong you can break the marriage there are rules and regulation talaq etc in muta it's not like that before when you marry you marry for a particular time period we are in islam it nothing but legal as prostitution is it so there is no room for prostitution in islam it is haram so you marry and if something goes wrong maybe after 10 years after 10 months after one month after one week there is a procedure for talaq which is given in the quran and you should not use it but planning in advance and marry you for so many days or so many weeks or months is haram in islam there is no room for it hope that answers the question